Howdy folks, thank you for tuning in. Uh, I recently did a quick overview of the latest Visionary Monoculars, the Visionary Wetland series in 32 and 42mm versions. And today we're going to have a look at in a bit more detail at the 12x32. And as always, if you want to support our channel, it is available to purchase in the link below. But better still, do what somebody did the weekend just before this video, who came along to our Optics Weekend and um, saw me in person and purchased this very set. Well, not this very set, but a set of 12x32s. And basically all they said, rather than going into any detail, they looked through a few of the monoculars, they looked through these, and it was, yes, these are the one. And that was all that mattered them. And so, we'll have a look at these in a bit more detail. So we have, um, as with all the models, fully multi-coated optics, nitrogen gas field, and a polycarbonate body. Uh, extremely compact. I think just over 12 centimeters long and with my very inaccurate weighing scales around about 220 grams. So actually less than many 8x25 or so uh, binoculars. So with this one it's a twist eye cup, a couple of clicks. It's not long eye relief and I actually found that with glasses on even with it fully down, I could get about 80% of the view. And with the glasses off, I found about the halfway position was, was okay. Fully out, maybe too much, but I found about halfway and it stays nicely in position once set. The focuser, I think I mentioned this before, that they are not, it moves very freely, but it's not what you call silky smooth. And uh, I've tried all the, all the models like this, but uh, I tried all the models in this in this group of, uh, in the wetland series, and they all seemed but very similar. But it, it's not bad. Believe you can see how I'm doing that now with one finger. It's, it's not what you call silky smooth, but it, it's very functional. It does the job, and uh, I, I guess you could say it, it would uh, not knock out of focus as easy as some that move much more freely. On the underside you've got a nice rubber grip there and the attachment for the wrist strap it does remove and so you can put this on a tripod. And so with it being 12 magnification, 32mm lens, it's not a wide field of view, it's only 4.5 degrees, but the apparent field of view, it doesn't give you the impression you're looking through a little pinhole, you know, it's quite a comfortable viewing experience, but at 4.5 degrees it may make Ob uh, tracking fast moving objects a little bit more tricky than let's say the 8x32 for example which will have a, a much wider field of view. As uh, with a lot of optics if you, if you pull them, push the magnification especially if it's a smaller objective lens it, it, it can decrease the brightness and I uh, don't know if you can quite see there but it, it's quite a small exit pupil so t 12s into 32 uh, what approximately two and a half millimeters exit pupil? Uh, I, I say approximately, and uh, just uh, testing it out in low light conditions. Yeah, you're not going to get the same results as you do, for example, through a Viking Cygnus ED eight times forty-two, L looking into the shadows or using at dusk and dawn. But then again, maybe you don't have a hundred pound budget. Maybe your budget is fifty to sixty pounds. And for that, it, it certainly does the job. And again, with pushing the magnification with a small objective, you, you are also losing a little bit of contrast compared to the 8x32 wetland. But it's, 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 not, it's really not bad at all. There is some uh, chromatic aberration, even in the centre. And, um, but it doesn't degrade too much towards the edges. And uh, surprisingly with these, the edge of field quality with these is quite remarkable. There's not much fall off from the centre at all so that's very impressive and uh, there is little or no pincushion distortion. So what are you going to use these for? I personally think that 12 times is more for looking at ships at sea or planes going by or, or longer distance terrestrial objects but the surprise I found with these was compared to all the other wetland monocul uh, monoculars 
it's actually the one with the highest magnification that gives the closest focus. And I tried it with the um, th three of these 12x32s and they all focused down to about 3 metres, which is very good. So you want to look at bees and butterflies as you're walking past, as you're walking by plants or whatever in, in the garden or out on your walks and you don't want to disturb them. It will focus down to 3 metres and obviously with that 12 magnification you're going to get a really really nice view uh, if only just a little bit of a soft contrast view compared to some of the higher end ones but repeating the price this is only £59 retail and so in that price bracket it really there's not too much to fault with it really other than the focuser it would be nice if it moved a bit more freely and the would be nice to see a bit more eye relief but then again that, that's just being picky really but if you do struggle to hold 12 times magnification together uh, without it shaking too much you can actually put it on a tripod or if you're in a bird hide you clamp, uh, put it on a clamp or a car window mount if you pull up next to maybe like in our area at the Humber Estuary and you want to look at the ships going by then it's absolutely adequate for that but that's uh, a little look at the visionary 12x32 wetland monocular. Just a quick look at the accessories you get with it. So you get what you call a standard soft nylon case with, with the belt loop. You get uh, the eyepiece lens cap there and it does have a little opening there so if you want to put the wrist strap through you can do. The objective cover is connected directly to the monocular and doesn't remove. Very nice adjustable wrist strap here that's, that's, that's uh, better than some I've seen with uh, some more expensive monoculars. And you will get a microfiber cleaning cloth which is, is very nice compared to some of the cheap ones you get that that probably do more harm than good when you try to clean the glass. And finally a really nice touch you find that with a lot of visionary binoculars and monoculars up, up to now you have the same stock leaflet and one like one fits all but with this it's actually a booklet for this monocular only uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure about the description monocular telescope to, to me it's just a monocular then you have spotting scopes then you have then you have telescopes for looking at the stars that's me I'm not a fan of calling monoculars telescopes but they are in theory a telescope so that's a quick look at the all new Visionary Wetland 12x32 monocular available to purchase in the link below. So as always I hope that helps. Thank you very much for watching and uh, see you next time. Bye bye for now.